Hey everyone, I want to show you how I organize my coffee and tea cabinet. Before I get into it, I just wanted to let you know that this was a disaster. It was the worst cabinet in my kitchen. Right now we're staring at underneath what's underneath my cabinet and that is our coffee machine which is an espresso and then those three little canisters and this actually underneath the coffee cabinet was a mess too it was the most stressful cabinet i had in my kitchen and now it's my favorite so i can't wait to show you what i did but before i do let me go ahead and show you the before So as you can see on the counter, big change. <laughs> what we have is our Nespresso machine. We used to also have a Keurig that was up here, but the Keurig broke. And honestly, we really, I don't think we have a need for the Keurig with the Nespresso. So we're just keeping it simple here. And I found these canisters in our house or they were already in our pantry. So I repurposed them and I'm using them on the counter for our capsules for the, the Nespresso. And then we have our sugar, which that's sugar in the raw, that's what my husband loves. And then that teeny tiny one is what the Truvia and the Agave packets go in and that's what I eat. So all the sweeteners and the main coffee that we use is right here at our fingertips stored neatly away. And I really didn't like how they were clear, but that's starting to grow on me because when company comes over, they can easily see what it is. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you the cabinet now. And also my husband is on a conference call, so you might hear him talking in the background. Remember, we do work from home. But this is the overview of the cabinet. As you can see in the before picture, we had no mugs in the cabinet whatsoever, but I really wanted to try to make room for our mugs so everything is in one location and I did, which is awesome because it freed up a lot of space in my cup cabinet so now I can get the glasses, the new glasses that I wanted. So that worked out. But we'll focus on the top first. Actually, on the very top I just have my, those are my two bowls and I use them all the time, along with this one. And here's my strainers, you can kinda see me in there. And one of the first changes I made, as you can see in the reflection of the strainer, was I put really fun shelf paper down. So you'll see that on this video. Also, I like to keep the strainer in this cabinet because it's right next to the sink. So for me, that's very convenient. So right here, what I did was we have these coffee syrups, like we have caramel, and this is vanilla, and then this is just sugar, like the liquid sugar in the raw. My husband loves this stuff. And then right next to that, I just have some drinking chocolate that I like to mix in my coffee and make mochas. So these cabinets actually, these shelves are really short. This took a lot of measuring. Like they're so short that this, obviously, like this is standing up and it doesn't fit. So because of that, they have to be on their side. So I was like, how could I utilize that space the best? And I came up with this idea, which is using a wine rack. And I got this from Target. And honestly, this is the most priciest thing I bought. It was $20, which is so much. Definitely the splurge for this project. But at the end of the day, the convenience of having our syrups organized like this, completely worth it. Like we don't have to walk over to the pantry. It's all right here. It holds it so well. I love it. And then right next to that, I got a Lazy Susan right here, all from Target. Everything I got was from Target, by the way, because Target is so close to me. So it's so easy for me to run down there. But I got this Lazy Susan and on it, I put our honey for our tea, agave, because I like the agave in, um, in my drinks to sweeten it. Uh, more chocolate. You can tell I like my mochas. Uh, behind there are peppermint sticks that we use in the winter time. And right here is Via. Now my mom gave me this idea where you can take the Starbucks cups 
and you can easily just wash them and then you have this really great sturdy plastic cup left to use to do anything you want with. And I thought, how clever would that be if I just put all my Bia in there, I can see what I have, how does it well, I absolutely love it. I think it looks so cute too. So thanks mom for that ingenious idea. I love that. I think that's so clever. Okay, over here we have coffee filters. I'm sorry that the camera is kind of shaky. I'm holding it. My arm is getting tired. Okay, so right next to this we have our coffee filters in this little container. Just get rid of that wrapping so that I don't have to deal with that wrapping and we've been actually making cold brewed iced coffee lately so these have been helpful for that and then behind there is that back that little container with the Tazo tea that's our leftover tea that we just need to drink up like we probably won't buy any more of the tea that's in there but we will drink it up it's not bad we just won't repurchase it and we had a lot of tea and coffee just a crazy a crazy amount so we need to drink up some of this and then back there this thing kind of like I just had this container hanging around but this thing let me show you down here okay in this tiny container we have our tea accessories so we have a couple like tea bag things this is like an organic mesh bag this is a ball because we do like to eat or drink the loose leaf tea and then my aunt got me these and you just set your little tea bag on here and when you're done with it and it's something honestly we didn't think that we would ever use but we use them all the time so thank you aunt joanne for getting that for us and then my aunt joanne also made me this oh i love it i love using this in the winter time on my um hot drinks and actually i could use it I can use it in the summer on my cold drinks too. So I absolutely love this. But all of our little like accessories and things, I just stashed in here. And we don't get to them very often, but it's still convenient. Okay, so that's what's right there. And then next to this is kind of our tea and coffee appliances. So this is our Teavana tea maker thing. Uh, love it use it all the time so that's why it's right here because I try to put everything kind of in the order of how we use them the most and because it's really hot outside right now we probably won't be using these for a while so this is our steamer for our coffee that came with our Nespresso and then behind there is our French press and then this is our grinder and that we'll be using probably pretty soon because you'll see why in a second Oh, and then there's that fun shelf paper, and that goes back there. So now over here on this shelf, we just have most of our actual coffee and tea. So, oh, that was shaky, sorry. So on this side, we have our tea, and on this side, we have our coffee. And we really like tea upon a tea, so we have our three canisters right here, and ended up fitting, just fitting perfectly like this. Uh, I just moved the label from the side of it to the top of it so we can see what it is, which that's not focusing, but that's okay. Uh, behind here, we do have a couple Tazo teas, and I decided not to take these out of the container because I, the container just suited it perfectly. So these we don't drink too often. We normally drink when we have like a cold or something like that. Uh, I don't know if you could see this, but I got this like shelf divider thing right here. And that divides it pretty well, which that gave me a lot more space. So now on the bottom part, I have this shallow blue container. So inside this, Okay, so inside this thing, we just have our Rishi teas, which is right here. And then on the side, we have a bunch of these kinds of tea bags. And honestly, I wanna drink these up and then not repurchase them again. But what I did was I just used the tea bag actual box. I just cut off all the flaps on it. And then I did what Alejandra said to do, which is brilliant. And that is you kind of zigzag your tea bags where you put like one, facing up and then one facing down and that saves you or gives you a lot more room and space. So I tucked all these in here and then back here we have this kind of tea bag teas <laughs> and 
you know, it's like, there's a thousand things on how you can organize these kinds of tea bags, but there's nothing really on how to organize these kind of tea bags. So I was doing some researching and I saw that some people actually put these in little mason jars. So they come home, if you like this kind of tea, or and they happen to have this tea bag, you can take it out and put it in a little mason jar, which I think is brilliant. So because we only had three left, I just stuck it in this little bag until we drink it up and then it'll be gone. Now back here, we have some loose leaf tea and my sister-in-law brought us some of these teas from Oregon because she works in a specialty tea shop. And this was in a container for a while, but I just wanted to kind of consolidate things. So I know it's not the best way to probably keep this tea, but we're just gonna drink it up soon anyways and then it won't be repurchased because we don't live in Oregon and <laughs> we can't get this. So until then, I just put it in these little mini plastic bags and you can get these bags from the container store or Michael's or any craft store. Uh, so I just put the name and then how to brew it on the bags. So these are all in there until we drink it up. And then back here, we just have some more tea. All these came in these little fun containers. We have three of them. They actually fit very nicely underneath there. So I just went ahead and I kept them in their container. Okay, so that's all put back. Over here we have our coffee. And in this container, so in here we just have our coffees and we have our vias, which I like to use these in, like if I make my own frappuccinos or lattes or whatever. And I think it would be really neat if I got a tall Starbucks drink and use the cup for these little vias. I think that would fit really nicely. But until then, I'm just using a jar. And we also just have these two different coffees and we just need to drink these up. And we'll probably make this into cold brewed iced coffee. And then in here we have more coffee. Now, like I said, we used to have a Keurig, so these are the leftover pods. And the reason I still have these is because they, like I discovered that in order not to waste this coffee, I can actually uh, cut open them and use the ground coffee inside and use them to make iced coffee with. So again, I'm gonna cold use this to make cold brewed iced coffee. And then when I use up these, I'll probably put the extra stuff that we have on the side or our filters in here or something like that. So that's what's in there. And then moving on, on the side right here, we just have this empty Tiavana container. And then back there, we just have more coffee. And that's not open, so we're gonna open that and use that once we drink up all the other ones. And then once these are gone, or at least like once that's gone, I would like to put our travel mugs here. But until then, at least I got all my just normal coffee mugs in here. I was really excited about this. Everything is just in this cabinet now. So I'm really loving this. Also, I bought these little tiny hooks and you use a one, well, it gives directions on the package, but we just drilled the holes and just screwed them right on in. And honestly, the little hooks saves so much space. Oh my goodness. But with that, you get six mugs up and then down below, you can fit a ton of mugs and they're easy to get to. And honestly, I think that it's even better than this thing, this like shelf divider thing. Cause I try to use this for the coffee mugs over here at first. It was just, it was still kind of hard to get the coffee mugs, but with the hooks you save even more space and the mugs are easy to get to. So I'm really loving that. And this, all in all, is our coffee and our tea cabinet. And then down below, we just have this, which is simple. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I gave you some good ideas. And I will see you guys next week in my next video. Bye.